Hey everybody, what's going on? Gibbo Ireland here for Two Tom Murphy with yet another Microsoft Flight Simulator quick fix video. I hope this video finds you well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Power Toys, which is available for free. It's open source and it's from Microsoft. And it's a suite of about 10 or so tiny little utilities that I think might be of interest to us simmers. So why is that? What can it do? Be sure to stick around. So once you have Power Toys installed, there is this window which shows you the 10 or so little utilities on the left and some configuration options when you click on each one. I'm going to be taking you through about four in total today, the first one of which is Power Toys Run. Now you can enable and disable each of these individually if you wish, but what Power Toys Run is, is, well, have you ever been in that situation where you're in the sim and you need to run something? And most likely in my case, it's FSUIPC. And well, you can do that by alt tabbing or showing your desktop or hitting the windows key and, and clicking to, to run uh, whatever utility it is. With Power Toys Run, all you need to do is actually hit the activation shortcut, which in my case is alt and tab, and then just type. And it'll simply allow you open without having to exit or take your, your, your foreground window away from the sim any application that you wish. Short but sweet, but pretty handy nonetheless. Next up is Power Rename. And this kind of does what it says in the tin. Let me give you a use case here that's real world for me. And it's my screenshots. My screenshots folder is a mess, really. I'm sure yours is kind of similar where, you know, it just goes on and on and on. And I have no way to organize these and, and, and to keep them managed or to find it what it is exactly that I'm looking for, bar having to click on each and every single screenshot to kind of figure out what it is that I'm looking for. And um, so using this power rename, it's a much easier way for you to rename your files and help keep them organized. So this goes on and on. Let me show you actually how it works. For some reason, there's this naming convention, Microsoft Flight Simulator screenshot in each in every file it drives me crazy because it's already in a microsoft flight simulator folder i know what it is that's taking up some valuable real estate a much better way for me to organize my files would be by root and then by date and of course you can organize this in whichever way that you like that suits you so to give you an example as to how this works i have uh, some screenshots of a flight that i did recently and i'm going to actually right click here select them all right click and i've got this uh, power rename option. So how this works, if I make it full screen so you can see, is if you type in dot and then an asterisk, it'll select all the files. And then I'm going to rename them to the location that I actually flew. So let's say it was to, and let's say it was Amsterdam. Um, I also have uh, a dollar sign DD, dollar sign MM, and dollar sign YY for the day, month, and year. That's the naming convention that I like. If you wish to have your own, you can simply select this, and it'll tell you all the options. So you can set this up in whatever way you like. I want it capitalized too, and then you can see actually how it's going to end up. I have a tiny little typo there, and I'm just going to correct. Okay, um, and then I'm going to click this one as well, which is enumerate items, which adds uh, an individual number to each one. I simply click apply and that's it done. Let's go back and there you are. 13 files in my case renamed at the click of a mouse. Very, very handy indeed. And what that means really is afterwards, this is how my actual uh, screenshot folder will look. Much easier way for me to categorize and uh, find screenshots in my screenshot folder. Next up is Image Resizer. So if you use cloud storage, space can be at a premium. If you don't use cloud storage, space can be at a premium. And for me, using an ultra wide monitor, uh, my screenshots end up being quite big. As you can see here, I've got a 10 meg one, I've got an 11 meg one, nine, and uh, nearly another nine one here. So they're, they're quite large. 4K, etc., etc. So if space is at a premium for you, or in my use case, I want to upload a screenshot to my flight on FS Hub, 
Well, it's a problem because there's a limit of eight megs. You can see here when I try and upload it, it doesn't let me. Well, that's where Image Resizer comes in. All you need to do here is again, select the files, right click and go down to Resize Pictures. Now you can set this up in a custom way for whatever particular format that matters to you, what size matters to you, there is a custom option as well. But for now, large 1080p, 1920 by 1080 is absolutely perfect for me. I'm just gonna go ahead, resize, and that's it done. Now, when I go back to FS Hub, it's nicely under the uh, eight meg limit, and I can go ahead and upload screenshots without any issues. Click of a mouse, very handy indeed, and there's my screenshot uploaded for my flight. Next up is Fancy Zones, and this one is going to be especially useful to those of you with a single monitor setup. Now it does work with multi-monitors as well, but basically, if you're familiar with snapping windows, this is it, but just really amplified. So what you do here is basically design your grid layout. You know, how many zones in particular that you want to divide your monitor up, and you can keep going and going or use some of the default options as well. So I've moved over to my ultra wide monitor just to show you how this works in action. And I've chosen, as you can see, two in the left, two in the right, and one big window right in the middle. So let's start popping some applications into it. How you do that is just grab the application, hold the shift button, and you can just pop it straight into that particular zone. So on the bottom left here, I'm gonna pop in Discord. That doesn't resize too well. That's Discord's fault but it uh, does work well for other applications. I've got Aeropad in the top left. The top right, I'd like my Navigraph charts, maps. And let's see, I'm gonna pick my favorite streamer and be watching them in the bottom right. They weren't available, so I chose Tuto Murphy instead. <laughs> Joking. But look how good this layout looks in an ultra wide monitor setup. Everything is fully available to you. You can just move your mouse between windows as normal. But how good does this look? And of course, you can create even more zones to pop even more in, should you wish, or, or less indeed. And it's pretty cool if you ask me. And folks, that's it. I hope you found these four little utilities all part of the Power Tools package useful for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Don't forget, Tuto Murphy himself, of course, streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1900 Zulu live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Murphy. And well, until the next one, thank you so much again for watching. Take care. <laughs>